All right, the last video of this uh, to-do list part will be devoted to deleting one to-do. And for this, we need to do two things. First things first, we need to delete one to-do from the local storage and we need to save it. Save it again with the to-do deleted and we need to delete the HTML part. So we need to do two things. We're gonna start with deleting the HTML part, okay? We're gonna kill that LI. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function, let's call it here, called delete to do. Nope, yeah, delete to do. And this function has an event, okay? And now here on paint to do, when I create this uh, delete button, I am going to add an event listener to this delete button. It's gonna be click. And the function will be delete to do. All right, so it's there. Let's see. Let's see if this goes, click, there we go. Now, there is a problem. We need to know which button is being clicked because we need to know which one to delete. Right now, we know which button, but we don't know, I mean, we know that it's a button is clicked, but we don't know which one is clicked. So for this reason, I am going to introduce to you something called that target. And the event has something called target that gives me a button. There is a problem though. I don't know who is the father. The thing is that the father of the button right here has an ID. And this is the ID that I'm interested in. Because anyways, I need to kill the whole LI. So what I need to do is now I have a button that is being clicked. I know the button, but I need to know his father. So let's go and instead of console lock, let's do console dear. We refresh console click button. And now we need to find here who is the father. First child, inner child, last child, offset, on, 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 whatever. Outer HTML, and here we are. Parent node. And this one is what we're looking for. Let's see. And now here we're gonna do log. We refresh. One second, okay. We refresh and when we click, yay, we know who to delete. Nice. Now let's make a search delete child element MDN. Remove child, so node and remove child. This means we have to say UL navigation remove child that one. Awesome. So let's just make it very sexy. Const, let's do button, event target, and then let's do the li to eliminate button that parent node. Parent node, and then we just take the list, to do list, and we say remove child, it's right here, li. We refresh, and bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Awesome, so it's working, but if I refresh, as you can see, I haven't deleted him from my to-dos. That's not good, okay? Now here it is, another functional programming thing that I really like and another operation with to-dos, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I am gonna create a clean to-do, for example. Let's do clean to-dos. And I am gonna use a function for arrays that is called filter. And what filter does is that filter runs a function. Let's do here, filter function. And filter, just like for each 
he will run the function with each one of the items so this one okay and what filter will do is that filter will create an array with the items that the function returns true true from so for example if i have a um, i don't know in this case i have an i have a to do's array and the array has an object and the objects the to do's they are they have an id and the id is a number so i what i could do here for example is i can say return to do that id for example is equals to one so what this will give me is that he will go he will go through all the to do's inside of the array and he will only return the to do's that return true here this means the one that has the id number one okay so again that's what filter does filter runs a function through every item of the array and then makes a new array only with the items that were true in this condition okay i hope you got that so for example in this case let's use console log clean to do's okay what i'm going to do here is refresh and when i click clean to do's has only one item because it's the item that passed the check is the only one that passed the check the rest didn't pass the check because they don't have id equals one they have id equals two equals three equals four so clean to do's and filter what they do is that again they give you an array of the items that pass a check which check is it this one filter function okay now what we want to do is that we want to clean to do's this means that we want to get the to do's that do not have an id equals to the one that was just clicked sorry okay let's do it again we want to check the to do's and we want to check the to do's that do not have the id equals to the id of the li because that is the one we want to delete okay all right i hope that you get that that you've been getting that and because this is okay we can also just put it here like this so we don't make so many functions it's the same thing okay the same thing the same thing all right and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say return at the, give me all the to do's that the id is not equals to the li id you need to remember that all the li's they have ids so what i want to do is i want to clean those to do's okay let's see reload all right i'm going to kill the first go it go it has id number one okay if i do to do's to do's has four of them if i click go it To do that id it doesn't fucking work to do that id equals one oh this is because i think is because to do that id is a number and li that id is a string you see those mistakes happened all the time let's see refresh one li id is a number and to do that id what is it one two three four hmm. let's just do something here to do that id and li that id there you go look at li that id it's a fucking string so all we need to do is instead of doing this we need to turn this into a string into an array so we're gonna into a no string array a number we're gonna say parse int and this turns a string that looks like this in 
to a number. What you're seeing here is a string, and it's not equal to one. So we're using parse, parse int that takes a, uh, strings like this and turns them into numbers. Let's see. Okay, and now look. Now clean to do's is four, but to do's, uh, clean to do's is three, but to do's is four. This is good. Now all we need to do is just replace the to do's. So we're gonna say to do's equals clean to do's because to do's is old, clean to do's is new. But there is a problem here, we cannot do this because to do's is a const. So let's change that into let. And then we call the function save to do's. And the function save to do's is going to save them the to do's. So first we replace the to do's and then we save the to do's, okay? Here we go. Let's look at application. Let's look at to do's. Look at the first one. Here it is, the first one. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. And is removed from the local storage and from the HTML. And if I refresh, it's not gonna be there anymore. If I delete hello and I refresh, they're not gonna be there anymore. If I click and I refresh, they're not there anymore. Wow, that was long. Just remember this, filter and for each. They execute a function for every item on the list. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one where we are going to get some images and put them on the background in a very random way. So see you on the next one, bye bye.